Welcome to Learn with Krishna Sandeep channel. In this video, what we are going to learn is how to create a date object in Java. So in how many different ways we can create a date object. So first we'll see how to create a date object in Java. How do we use to create date object in Java before Java 8 and after Java 8. In this uh, video, we are going to learn four different methods, four different methods to create Java object. Okay. So let's start with the first method what is the first method in the first method we'll be using the georgian sorry gregorian calendar so by using the gregorian calendar what we'll do we'll be creating the date object and in the second one we'll be using simple date formatter this is the second method to create a date object in java and let's go to the third one and third one is by using the local date so which was introduced in so this local date class was introduced in java 8 and the fourth one is local date time so these are the four different ways we'll be using to create date object in java okay we'll see uh, each and uh, by uh, we'll be creating date object by using each uh, by each using these four methods with the help of an example so first let's start with the first method so what is the first method so by using the Gregorian uh, Gregorian calendar. So first what we will do, I will create one method. Okay, so I will just name it as create date. Okay, and then what I will be doing is, I will do quick fix and I will create a method. Okay, and just here what I will be doing is, okay, I am not dis not do, uh, giving any return type because I'll be doing the system dot out dot and I'll be printing the date here itself. Okay, so first what we'll be doing, as I told you, we'll be using the Gregorian calendar. So first by using the Gregorian calendar, how we'll do date date equal to new. Okay, just so new Gregorian calendar of like this. So here we need to pass year month and day of month okay year month and day of month so how do we pass just say suppose if you want to create a dog date object with a today's date so just say 2021 what is the month okay don't give here numbers so just use the constants given in the calendar class just say calendar dot what is the month september just say calendar dot September. Okay. And what is the day of the month? 11th. Okay. So this is how we create a date object by using Gregorian calendar class. Just say import Java dot util. Okay. Just remove this. It is expecting Java dot SQL dot date. I think so. So let me do that and then look okay change type of date to gregorian calendar okay so we have created the gregorian calendar class so here what we need to do is just say dot get time okay so what this get time will do so this get time will return the date object okay so let me do quick fix again and import java.util date okay so gregorian calendar so here we need to pass year month and date and finally we need to call get time okay so this get time will return you the date object hope you understand how we are creating the first by using the first way uh, date object so just say sys out i'm just saying method one by using gregorian calendar so this is uh, before java 8 uh, we used to do like this let's run the program and see the output and we'll see whether we are able to create date object or not so if you see here we have created the date object which is saturday today saturday september 11th and it displays the time as well ist 
so time zone is indian standard time and the, here is the time displayed and here is the year displayed so this is the first way and now let's go to the second way okay i'm just saying create date one so in this method which class will be using we'll be using the simple date formatter class so by using the simple date formatter class okay what we'll be doing we'll be creating this uh, date object okay so here what we'll be doing is in this method just say date date equal to new simple date format of new simple date format of just here we need to give the format of the date y y y y y slash mm hyphen dd and then finally what we need to call is we have a method called parse method and then we need to pass the date here so in this parse method it will be accepting the this parse method will be accepting which format so string format okay just give the date object here which is nothing but here string you need to give so 2021 hyphen 09 hyphen 11th okay let's see what error we are getting so here we'll be getting some exception getting compilation error what is the unhandled exception type parse exception so just try to okay catch this exception by using catch block okay so this is the second way to create date object with help of simple date format class just print the date here sys out date and here i'm just mentioning in the comment method 2 by using simple date formatter class okay this is the second way to create let's run the program and see the output run as java application and as you see here method 2 by using simple date format a class saturday september 11th and here is the time and here is the time zone and here is the year so this is the second way to create a date object okay by using uh, in java so here we need to pass the format of the date in which format there are different date formats we can apply so we can give here mmddyy or we can give ddmmyy like that okay and here we need to pass the date as a string and then we'll be using simply out okay before java 8 we used to do like this by using these two methods now we'll see by using local date object so by using the local date class how do we create a date object in java so this local date is introduced in java 8 okay so just i'm saying just create method date and let's see how to create date object by using this method just say local date okay local date date equal to local date dot parse put it in the double quotes 2021 hyphen september 9th hyphen 11th and just say sys out date so by in local date class we have a method called parse here we'll be passing the string okay instead of simple date formatter we are using local date class so local date class is the class introduced in java 8 okay 
okay in our coming videos we can uh, focus more on this local date uh, but at a very high level it is used to create a date and this class is immutable and thread safe and we have a different methods in this uh, local date class you can see here so these are the different methods and different okay we have lot of methods in this so we'll i'll be doing one video on this local date in our uh, upcoming videos so we can get to know about this local date in the coming videos okay so let's go to the date demo and i'm printing this and i am writing the command here method 3 by using local date okay let's run the program and see the output so if you see here this is how we have printed the date this is by using the local date if you see in the earlier two methods we are getting the time as well but here we are not getting the time so don't get worried about that we have different methods in local date class uh, to get the time as well so by default when we print local date object right okay we get only date here if we want to get the time as well what we need to do is uh, we need to get the time as well from this date object and we need to print or there is one more method okay by using the local date time okay i'm just saying create date 3 and i'm just creating this method create method create date 3 okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm using the class called local date time and here i'm calling local date time equal to new or not uh, new so what we need to do here is just say local date time dot of okay we have a method in the local date time okay here what we need to do is we need to give pass the date as well as the time okay so how do we pass the date just give values like 2021 and this is the most simple way i can say 2021 9 11 and if you want to pass the time okay 8 comma 53 so this is how we pass date as well as time to this local date time object so let's do a quick fix uh, and import local date time here and now let's print this local date time object so this is how we print the local date time objects let's run the program and see the output so here what we'll be doing is local date time equal to method 4 local date time equal to date time okay this is how uh, we create a method and we pass the values these are the di four different ways to create date object so let's run the program and see the output for this fourth method as well so how to create a date object so if you see here Sorry, it got cleared out. Let me run the program again. So if you see here, method four, local date time equal to 2021, September, okay, 11th. Sorry, September 11th. Ninth is the month here. And here if you see the time also it's getting printed I have given 853 so it printed along with the time so these are the four different ways uh, to create a date object in Java hope you understand this video okay so we'll be doing the detailed video on the date local date and local date time in my coming videos so hope you understand this video thanks for watching my video if you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you